we'll be seeing you in today's an incredibly exciting episode of well I'll say episode it's kind of like the finale to the journey of Jared slash first on the road to glory this is still my account that I did both of those series on guys I still haven't spent any figure points or anything on it I'm just on it today guys I'm going to start the Steven Gerrard Prime Mark on SBC you guys can see my name at the top left journey to Gerrard so this is still the account that I saw the journey to Gerrard on it's still completely road to glory uh, I can't actually complete the Jared right now I'm just going to do bits and pieces and edit it all together so eventually I don't know when but I will be completing this Steven Gerrard because with this iconic one I'll be getting a mid icon at the end of June. And if it's a bad one, I'll put it into this. If it's a really good one, I'll, I'll use it, obviously. If it's Gerard, then pff, I guess I don't even need to do this, really. And then eventually, once I do all these, I can upgrade my Gerard. But uh, yeah, only if I get like Pele or Ronaldo or Ronaldinho or something like that, I won't put it in here. Even like Michael Owen or something, I'll probably put in here just because I've got so many forwards. But uh, yeah, we have completely humble beginnings, rising talent and world class so far. So let's submit these. Starting with the humble beginnings. Thanks to the bronze pack method, I do have a lot of bronzes. I don't think I have to buy any of these. No, I didn't have to buy any of them. Oh, one more. Oh, no, I bought this guy for 150 That's right. So this is 76 chemistry and 62 overall. You guys can't see that because of my face cam. But yeah, 76 chemistry, so I got the chemistry by one. So we'll trade that in for a silver players pack. Not too bad. Now you have the rising talent. Exchange a rare silver squad. This one's obviously a bit tricky because silvers are actually really rare. Like, it's probably the rarest thing if you really think about it. But we did complete this one for very cheap as well, as you guys can see. A lot of untradeable. Some are tradable. You bought this guy for 500 to complete it. And, uh, yeah, that is it. Wait, is that Colum that's a guy's tots at the moment, isn't it? Cantillo. Tradable. It might actually worth something because he's team of the season right now. As I'm making this video. video. That might show how long ago this was. Anyway, no, it's not worth much. But anyway, that is it. All we have to buy was this guy. So, so far, the Steven Gerrard Prime Mark on SPC has cost me 650 coins. I think it's going to go up a bit with the later SPCs. Anyway, we'll submit those silvers there. That is for a gold players pack. Don't you know what that means? Is that like 12 players gold one already? Yeah, it is. And then we have the world class SBC. For this, you need nine rare golds and two informs. So this one was really easy. I said two crap informs from the same league. Just happened to be in my club. You guys can see this is very, very cheap. Uh, didn't have to buy a single one of these people. But with the opportunity cost, it's probably like a few K. But we're not putting in opportunity cost in this because it's just from grinding the game. Because most of my tradable players have in the club are from foot champs. And the non tradable players are all from uh, Div Rivals. So that's how I got all my players. Uh, obviously, since I don't spend favorite points or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, so far, three SPCs down. Gerald's cost me 650 coins. Let's hope it keeps up like this. Next up, we have the Iconic. Uh, we need an Icon or a Prime Icon for this. And luckily, we do have this Louis Figo in my club. If you haven't seen it, I did get this from my June Foot Swap Rewards. Haven't used him. Uh, I just don't really need to because I've got so many good Tots, Right Wings and stuff who are like the same sort of stats. I'm not going to bother trying them out. So we will trade this in and we get a 100k pack for this, which is awesome. So we'll trade Louis Figo in there. So next up, we have the 83 Rated Squad. All right, so as you guys can see, this one wasn't too bad. It did cost me 10,700 coins, so not too bad at all, especially considering that we are going to get a Mega Pack, which is a 35k pack for it. So goodbye, Genie. You've served me well. Oh, not really, actually. He was pretty crap, let's be real. He's not a very good card. <laughs> um, yeah, let's trade him in. Moving on, we have the 84 Red Squad. This is 80 Chemistry and 1 Inform again. Uh, I have 83 Chemistry. You guys can't see that because my face cam is blocking it. But this is how I have completed it. You guys can see right there. This one did cost me a total of 33,000 coins, so a bit more steep than the, all the previous ones so far. We get a Prime Gold Players pack for that, so still it's you know cheaper than just buying a 45k pack from the store. Not that I would ever do that. They're not great packs. Anyway, let's trade this in. Next up, we have the 85 rated squad. This is 85 rated, 70 chemistry, which we have it bang on, uh, and uh, one in form. You guys can see how I did complete it here. This one did cost 48,000 coins plus my uh, player of the month, Royce. So this is very, very steep. Uh, I was questioning for quite a while if I used the Royce or not. And realistically, I just don't use him anymore. I haven't used him in a very long time. You guys can see what he did for the club there. Uh, he doesn't start for me, and my first guy off the bench is either Di Maria or Onyakuru. So I don't even think about ring Royce on. I think Royce is on my bench, so I know it seems a bit crazy to do, but I just don't use him. So to me, he's just a 91 red card that I don't use. So yeah, we'll be putting him 
in. So, uh, yeah, let's trade that in for Jumbo Prima Gold Place Pack. We're definitely going to make a loss on that pack, that is for sure. That is, yeah, a very steep one. So, yeah, we will trade that bad boy in. Next up, we have the 86 rated score. This is 86 rated, 65 chemistry, and with one inform. This one's actually the hardest one for me to trade in because we have my team of the season, Kano, who's actually been really, really good, as you guys can see there. That is, like, a lot in, like, uh, like deep rivals and stuff. Like that's not just squad battles. Like he's actually really good. And then Gundogan, who was like my best player early on in the first owner road to glory series, as you guys can see, 394 games, 108 goals, 170 assists. But I, 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 it's just so much cheaper for me to use him. He's not on my team anymore, so I have to get rid of all the sentimental attachment and everything, and just chuck him in here to make it so much cheaper. As you guys can see, this one still wasn't that cheap. I think it's actually the one I ended up uh, spending the most on. Uh, he did the later ones with a lot of my like untradables and stuff as you guys are about to see but this one did cost me a total of 84,000 coins that's very very steep but we get a rare players pack it's 50k pack so we should get at least 10 15k back so it's not that bad and I'm pretty happy with how we did this we did it with quite a few untradables and uh, yeah goodbye Gundogan you've been a great servant to the club I, I, I'm just hovering over the start and it's hard for me to do it even though I'm a Liverpool fan I should hate him but <laughs> he's just been so big for the club this whole year I'm gonna do it yeah did it did it work don't know if it worked. After don't make me do it. Okay, it worked. <laughs> we have traded in my Inform Gundogan plus eighty thousand coins and you know all that stuff. <laughs> Next one is the eighty-seven rated squad with one Inform sixty-five chemistry. This one was actually fairly cheap, as you guys are about to see. It only cost me eleven thousand one hundred coins, which is not bad at all. Uh, the worst guy I'm giving up here is probably Usman Dembele. He's actually pretty good. That's not look great, but that's playing actually as a left middle. So that's actually... Oh, actually, I'm going to Cam a little bit. I actually don't remember. <laughs> I haven't used him in a bit. And then Kazora is actually my bench center mid. But uh, we're getting Gerard now, so I think he'll be starting. And then my starting... It's all good. I'm fine with getting rid of Santi. I do like Santi, but I'm okay with getting rid of him. So anyway, yeah, we will trade this one in for a rare mega pack. That is a 55k pack in case you don't know. So let's trade that in. And now we just have one left. And finally, we have the 88 rated squad with 60 chemistry and no inform for this one. We got a 100k pack for this. And as you guys can see, I only had to buy the center backs in this one, and they cost me 21,300 coins. So not bad at all for a 100k pack. Yes, I'm giving up, what is it, five team of the seasons, but, you know, uh, I've never used Varela, even though he looks good. It's too hard to link. Same deal with Suchek. Eggstein I've used, didn't like. Uh, Lopez I've never used. Uh, but I'm fine with never using him. I've got so many strikers and everything. Visca, though, is actually my bench cam. Uh, I really enjoy him. He stats on the grab. That's all, like, the last 10 minutes of games. I actually really like him. This is a bit... Uh, I don't really like this too much, getting rid of this, but... I'll live with it. We're getting... We're getting Gerard. <laughs> I don't really care I'm giving up at this point, to be honest. So, anyway, we trade this in, and... Boom! If the servers were okay, that would be a bit more climactic. <laughs> And there we go, the main man, Steven Gerrard Prime Moments. This Prime Moments is for uh, winning the FA Cup in 2006, in case you don't know. Uh, oh, it's a what? We actually get Let's just shut up and watch this, I guess. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, I never thought I'd pack that, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, I can't remember if I said this at the start of the video because I've recorded this video over like a week to like a week and a half. But this is on my journey to Jared account, which is a Road to Glory account, which was set up primarily to just trade my way, play my way to getting this prime moment to Jared. So this is like crazy for me. You know, I've, I've done it. I've, I've completed FIFA 19. So this is kind of like a finale to the journey to Jared. I will be playing Foot Champs obviously this weekend with him. Uh, comment below if you guys want to see game plan, Foot Champs gameplay with this Jared. Uh, I'll definitely do that. Um, yeah, let's open up these packs now. Let's see how much this guy actually cost me. I will be doing at the end of the video like a proper like Excel spreadsheet kind of, you know, figuring out how much exactly it cost me. So, uh, yeah, let's open these. Let's send it to the club. You guys can see these in-games here before we send it to the club, actually. Sorry. <laughs> 80 pace. I don't know how it's 80 pace. Uh, it looks like 79 pace to me. It's clearly 79 pace, but he's a lady club. I'll take it. Uh, 89 finishing, which is ridiculous for a center mid. 90 attacking positioning. 98 long shots, which I just can't wait to test out. 91 volleys, 90 vision, 89 crossing, 82 free kick, 94 short pass, 96 long pass. Uh, his balance and agility is not great, which I'm a bit worried about, but I don't think it'll be that big of an issue. I'm hoping it won't be anywhere. 89 reactions, 93 ball control, 87 dribbling, 88 composure, 
Uh, good defense for a centimeter, I suppose. Nothing special. And 90 stamina will last the full game. 83 strength is fine. I uh, don't know what chemistry style I'll put on him. Probably something that boosts up his defending and maybe his pace. I might just put a shadow on him, to be honest. And then the icon profile, you guys can pause it if you want to read it there. I'll just read it on your FIFA copy. But yeah, it's for beating West Ham. He got two goals, an assist, and uh, a penalty, I'm pretty sure. from Just from memory of that game. Uh, so yeah, we'll send Joe to the club. Now let's open up these packs. Okay, so the first lot of packs, these are for the first three species. You have silver players pack, a gold players pack, and a rare election players pack. I am going to keep track of how much coins I get back from every single one of these packs, so then I can deduct it from the total cost that the SBC cost me. So at the end of this video, we can figure out exactly how many coins the Prime Jared moments cost me. I'm hoping it's going to be around 700,000 coins. I'm hoping. I've got no idea, though. It depends, obviously, what we get and how much I do it for. This first pack, though, we have got a wrestle, which usually go for quite a bit. That's two grand right back already. Went off 1.8. I'll check the rest of these guys' prices and I'll tell you how much uh, they're all worth. Is in they were all worth in a second. So from the first silver pack, we got six thousand coins back. So that is already a very good start. Onto the gold players pack now. This will honestly probably be worse than the uh, silver pack, just because the silver players are so rare. We're just gonna skip this. Six k back already though. That's a really really good start. We have Illuramendi. That's actually a pretty good. Eighty four rated player here with the one rare. He's worth about 9k. Awesome. So just like this whole pack, I'm going to calculate how much this is all worth, and I'll be right back in a second. Wow, so this gold pack was worth about 14,500 coins. That's incredible. So we're already about 20k back from this Gerard. That's amazing. And then finally, we have the rare Electrum Players pack. This is during the League 1 team season, by the way, so we could get an, an Bat Bay team season here, maybe. Why not? It's a thick pack, so I think it's going to be boards. No tots. German. Goalkeeper. It's going to be... Uh, Bowman, not the best. Probably one of the, probably the worst boards actually. <laughs> a very could possibly be the worst boards. What else do we have? Oh, it's all, all rares. Okay. All right. This might be a valuable one. I'll be right back with the total value of this pack. So unfortunately, this last pack was only worth about six and a half to seven thousand coins. So not that good, but still a lot of coins back. And we're already about I've forgotten, but around thirty thousand coins back, somewhere like that. Um, yeah, I'll have a very accurate thing at the end of the video. Don't worry. But so far, yeah, that's going very well. Now let's get on to the better packs. All right, this next pack is a 100K pack. This one is the one that we get for doing the icon. So hopefully we're gonna work with this because I've traded my Louis Figo for this pack. <laughs> hopefully we get something sick here. Come on here, please. Please can we get something good here? I beg of you. Oh, team season, it's during the ultimate team season. I forgot to say that. Belgian, Cam, Veneken. I was thinking he's, 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 uh, he's uh, an Angolan in the ultimate one. I knew he wasn't, but still got excited. Vanekin. So I told you that the ultimate team season was selling packs, but I didn't tell you it was the rest of the world wants selling packs. <laughs> so that's at least probably 15k there, so that's something at least. Socrates as well. Alright, so I've said all these guys are worth about a grand thanks to the SBCs that are out at the moment, and then a couple of 84s are worth a little bit. So there's actually 54,000 coins back from this pack, which is not bad at all. We're getting our coins back, this is good. Alright, on to the next pack. Let's just start with the Prime Gold Players pack. Alright, who are we going to get? Obviously, the ultimate team of the season is still in packs. So we can still we can get like a Messi or a Van Dyke here. It would be sick. Not exactly a Messi or a Van Dyke in the first pack, though. It's going to be Nzonzi, maybe? Oh, Bakayoko. So you guys can see the players in this first pack here. I'm going to figure how much they are all worth. And I'll be right back with the total. Okay, this pack couldn't be much worse. This is worth 6,000 coins. <laughs> that is really, really bad. I'll send them to the club now and just list them up later, but they all go for the minimum. That's not great. All right, next pack. Let's open up a mega pack here. 35k pack. Come on, EA. Can you please give us something? With the price that I did the Jared and everything, I'm actually fine if I don't pack anything massive. I'm happy with the price that I did pay for him. We're going to get like a here. He might have a bit of a value. I'm not sure. 85 ready. He could. Maybe... 8, 9k? Hopefully. Definitely better than the first pack, that is for sure. We also have Bailey in there. Uh, you guys can see that there's consumables and stuff in here. I'm going to go figure out how much this pack is worth, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got about 24,000 coins back from that pack, so not bad at all. Much better than the first pack, that is for sure. Not that it would have been hard to be. <laughs> it would have been very, very hard to be worse than the first pack. That is for sure. You know, 250 right there. Right, let's open up this Jumbo Premium Gold Players next. There's a 24 gold players. Seven of them are rare. It's not the greatest pack, but you've you got a chance to get something out of it. We're not getting any boards, though. 
Obviously, no team of the season. It's going to be in Zonzi. Atri rated Steven on Zonzi. We just get Chris Smalling and uh, Koscielny. That's not a great pack once again. <laughs> so that pack yielded us about 8,500 coins. So not great. Koscielny saved a bit. He was worth about 1.8k. So non-rate car gave us like a quarter of that pack. <laughs> That's what you want. All right. Only three packs left now. The three big ones. 100k pack, 50k pack, and a 55k pack. I'm just going to go in cheapest to most expensive. Start off with the 50k pack. Even though this pack's probably better than 55k pack, so let's just do it this way. Can we please pack a team of the season? That's not even a thick pack. Wow. We are not doing the Gerard for cheap uh, with these packs we're getting back. So that 50k pack was only worth 8.8k. All of these guys are worth 700 to 1,000 coins. That is quite unlucky. And then Vast is worth like a k. <laughs> that is a pretty bad 50k pack. Right, rare Mega Pack time. Come on, this is a good pack right here. This is 30 rare cards, and then some of them are obviously players. Come on, it's a thick pack at least. It's better than 50k pack already. No tots or inform or anything like that. We're going to get Casper Schmeichel. Uh, we actually used him in one of these SPCs. We're getting him back here. Casper Schmeichel. Okay, we've got a few boards players in this. This this might not be that bad. And obviously these consumables, you know, these are about a K each, so that's pretty good right there. We got Vass again, he's not leaving us alone. This pack might be worth a, a lot more than the previous one, that's for sure. So that pack was worth 20,250 coins, that is not bad at all. Uh, obviously it's a massive loss if you're in the 55k pack with coins, but after these last previous packs, that's, that's good for us. Anyway guys, we have the final pack here, 100k pack. To make profit from this Gerald, we're going to do something big here, but I don't care if we don't get profit, obviously. I'm just thrilled to have Gerald. You guys see the top left, in case you didn't watch any of the series. This is the Journey to Gerald account. Come on, please, can we finish with a bang here with Team of the Season? It's not a Tots. It's boards, at least. It's an inform. It's not the best team of the league. Is it me, Oscar? Is it going to be the guy we already put in? Yeah, it's going to be the guy we already put in. An 81-rated Brazilian striker from the Chinese League. Not exactly what we want to be packing, but... These packs are absolutely, tr like, awful. <laughs> so, there's actually probably a good thing that we packed absolutely nothing out of these packs. Uh, because it means that if you guys are thinking about doing the Jero and you want to see this video how much it costs... It can't cost you, if you do it with untradables and stuff like I did, it, you, you can't like make less money back than what I did. You have to get better packs than what I got. So anyway, you guys can see the plays that we got here. I'll be right back with the final value of the final 100k pack. So even though that pack was pretty crap, thanks to these like SBCs and stuff, that informer got actually worth 25k. So in total we got 45,000 coins in this pack. So that's actually not that bad, considering how not great it was. I mean, I got a couple boards, plays, and an inform, I guess, so... That's pretty good, but you know, it's, it's you know, when the ultimate team of the season's out, an inform really doesn't feel that special. Anyway, I'm going to go with an Excel spreadsheet, calculate exactly how much this Gerard SPC cost me, and I'll be right back. So guys, in total, before I got packs back and anything like that, the Gerard cost me 208,750 coins. Uh, and with all the packs back, even though I didn't get anything that special, and I got one Tots who was pretty low rated, and an inform, and like a Zep, like... Honestly though, not the best packs, right? completely average, below average if anything really. And from the packs we got 193,800 coins back. I was shocked about that too, so many coins back. Like all the little gold rares and like little silvers worth like a couple of K, and like informs worth 10, 25 K really add up. And uh, that means we did Gerard for a total, after packs, of 14,950 coins. Yeah. <laughs> that is... Definitely worth it, because if you guys see here, Gerard is actually very similar. He's obviously worse, but he's very similar to DePaul. And I think this DePaul card's like 300k. Plus, he's got much worse links than Gerard, obviously. And, um, yeah, I'm super excited to use this team. This is the team I'm going to be using this foot champs, by the way. Unless today's train, uh, tryout with this Diagonate goes horribly wrong. Uh, it, it's going to uh, line up something like, I think that is what I decided in the end. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to use this team. Except for Oblak. I haven't loved Oblak in the few games. I was really happy when I packed this Oblak, but 10 games in, he's, he's not great so far. And I've been playing him on chemistry, and I've decided to just play him off chemistry because he still gets 99 diving reflexes and um, positioning, so he should be fine like that. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to try out this team. And anyway, that does it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. Please do leave a like. Helps out a lot. If you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 by the end of 2019. And I will see you guys next time.